Hey guys, and welcome to the deck profile for Pendulum Chaos Dragon. So, yes, Pendulum Chaos Dragons is being taken off. Uh, it was fun, but uh, like I said, it, it was more of a tag deck. It could have not been a tag deck, but I want to kind of step away from it. Uh, and also, by the rules of Daily Duels and my channel, and you know, I gotta stick with my own thing. Uh, the top decks, of course, have to be on the channel, or at least been on the channel. So, uh, you know. While, uh, you know, Shadal's and Diamond Y and here on Kalanites are here. Uh, Burning Abyss, I gotta go somewhere and, you know, I wanna just try Burning Abyss, you know, without Yabelle being in the way and seeing how that works and, you know, testing out that deck. So, um, yes, uh, Burning Abyss will be taking this deck's place. So there'll be two daily goals today. They'll be here, deck profile, uh, of course, at uh, 12.30 and then at 1.30. Uh, go ahead and come back for the Daily Duels episode with uh, the first one with uh, Burning Abyss on Daily Duels. It was on Diamond Wide, but it'll be on Daily Duels, so we'll go ahead and see how the deck does. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the deck profile for Pendulum Chaos Dragon, and uh, yeah, step away from it for a while. So it was definitely a fun deck, um, you know, it was actually kind of funny how, uh, you know, as Tago, Tago actually pointed out, he was like, so wait, you had Light Sworn down here, and you got sick of Light Sworn, so you took them off. And you put this, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> but this deck was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Now. It had many, many different variations and stuff like that, but it was still just a really fun deck. I, I you know, it was pretty aggressive. It, I pen, it was like one of the first decks that I really, truly enjoyed Pendulum Summoning with. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be missed. It's gonna be missed. So let's go ahead and go to the deck profile. So of course we run uh, Triple Odd Eyes. Odd Eyes is like one of the best Pendulum monsters, maybe the best Pendulum monster. So of course you're gonna run him like. Just being able to get you that search, also, you know, being able, when he goes to the extra deck due to the effect, and you pencil summon him back, he's a level 7, so you can go ahead and exceed with him, or you can have him 25 beater and just jump the hell out of your opponent, he's just really good, so, definitely odd eyes. And we run the, the Magicians, I decided to run them as many as possible, just for high consistency. Want to get them as much as possible, see them often as possible. The quicker I put them, something the better. So, uh, you know, also I excavate and mill in this deck, so it might be kind of safe to uh, make sure that I had, um, uh, you know, as much as possible just to make sure that I still got them. So, the only thing that sucks is that him, I couldn't, and you can um, put him in the zone if there's monsters on the field. So, uh, overall, it wasn't the best tag deck, or if it was, I should have went first. And generally, I don't like to go first when it comes to tagging, so. You know, I'd like to allow my partner to go ahead and uh, show off what they can do. And, you know, it's not about just, you know, Daniel. Look what Daniel can do. You know, you guys can see that all the other days. So, definitely, I want my tag partners to stand out a bit when it comes to tag videos. Like, hey, this is this tag video. So, check out my tag partners. Check out what they can do. So, I generally love the, I like them to go first. But, you know, this guy, he was just kind of hindering the back. But, definitely, if you're going to play the singles, then he should be okay as long as you don't have any motion on the field. Then, uh, of course, we run the Dragon Wars because they help me banish. And my, there's lots of dragons in here. They help me banish and, and help me beat and XE. And they're just, they're just okay. So, uh, of course, we're in Blaster, Tidal Tempest. Uh, I had Redux in here, but I decided to take him out just because he wasn't his attack wasn't really high enough to be worth the summon. So I kind of just left him out, and I kind of felt like there were other cards that I wanted to play in here. So I kind of just left it alone. So he's not in here. One red, one red, of course, this is potentially Chaos Dragon, so, of course, what's Chaos Dragon is about red, of course, uh, you know, especially since red is searchable through, um, Clip Swiven, so you can just go ahead and send Clip Swiven and just banish it, you know, with a Dragon Roller, or, you know, uh, preferably a Dragon Roller, uh, you know, I, I've, I've worked on this deck up and down many of times, um, you know, or through, we also have Light Pulsar, but, I, I was running the baby Chaos Dragons, but, uh, I don't know, I guess I took him out. I don't know. It seems like they would be really good in here, so I yeah, definitely recommend them. So what were they? It was like Light Dragon or White Dragon or something like that? I, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, so Black Dragon and um, White Dragon. These. This is our down here, the side deck, is this card that I can suggest you can go ahead and play in here. So, um, yeah, I I think I tried them out and they seemed like they were fine. I just don't remember why I took them out because they're really good, but I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know this card. This deck. This, this deck went through a lot of renovations. So literally, this one right here is like, like the final version that I had. Before, you know, with uh, Ti Go uh, you know, previously in the previous videos. But uh, yeah, uh, I decided to toss in the BLS. You know, 
you know, uh, with this whole number generator thing, you know, there's a pretty good chance I'm gonna go ahead and draw them. So, you know, BLS wins the games. You know, even with 16,000 life points, summoning BLS, he can definitely be a threat. He can be definitely scary, depending on you know what Tiago had in the field, and especially with Royal Decree, you know. So, BLS, uh, Light Pulsar, you know, he has he goes well with him. Uh, yeah. I, I kind of like this engine, and you know, I, I may think about maybe bringing it back some other time. But uh, you know, like Pulsar, I really felt like I only needed one. You know, you really only need what my Pulsar. He only does his one job. Yeah, you know, just be able to uh, just kind of touch himself with uh, Redum and just be there. You can also summon Labradite if you want to, but yeah. So yeah, you only need one. You know, so that's just my opinion. And one Labradite. I like Labradite because he, he does well with this, you know. I've seen a lot of decks that run, um, you know, Flamebow Guard. This deck actually ran Flamebow Guard at the beginning, but then when I saw Luna doing the whole Labradite Dragon, and I was just like, wow, that's another that's another Dragon target, and I can do this, so I can just go ahead and go, you know, Dragon Shrine, send Labradite, send Wyvern, Wyvern, go off, you know. And then I have my Labradite set up for, of course, this guy, which I'm going to be talking about when we get over to him, but, um, yeah, I totally just didn't mind that play, so uh, definitely fun. Uh, then three Curry Bandit. Curry Bandit's just great in this deck. Like Curry Bandit's so good. Like he's he's been you know going down and play as the decks have been getting less and less aggressive, and then we kind of stepping away from him. And other cards have been doing his job, but he is just really awesome. Just being able to just go ahead and excavate uh, top five, and then you get to go ahead and add uh, grab a spell or a trap and just add to your hand, and then you know it's just a great card. Great card. Like pretty much just replace Card Trooper. Just, now, I'd say the only time you may be seeing Car Troopers may be in Shadal just because of Shikinaga, but they'll probably run Mathematician instead, so. But Curry Bandit, you know, I definitely like you. You help, though. No, no. The Spell Trap car counts not high, but, you know, it was nice when I grabbed something. I wish that you Pendulum Monsters counted as a spell in the graveyard, could I add you, add you back, but I couldn't, so. Uh, it kind of sucked when I excavated one of them with Curry Bandit, but definitely Curry Bandit. Uh, then we ran uh, the Triple Eclipse Wyvern because Wyvern searches me for not only um, uh, Red Eyes Dark Metal but also uh, Ana. It's also search for Dark Arm, but I took our Dark Arm out because I don't trust myself with them. I'm just not a big fan of Dark Arm and you know the exactly three things. So yeah. You know. So, yep, so you can go ahead and search this, or you can search this, so you can go ahead and get your odd eyes, you can get your searcher faster, so it's totally just a fine play to do, so don't mind that. Alright, and, um, uh, and, uh, I ran a little bit of the light swarms, because, you know, they're light, so, you know, it kind of balanced out a lot of the darks, because there's a lot of darks here. You know, you see odd eyes and magicians, there's a lot of darks here in comparison, so I was trying to run more light, so I was trying to, you know, bring out the light with the wide ring, so I decided to go ahead and run this engine. Uh, right in heat when uh, Bandit's not there, right in fine, go ahead and be able to uh, just uh, just excavate. Well, not excavate, yeah, he's actually mill. Um, but go ahead and just mill two cards and if you mill Light you know, he gets, he, he, he's definitely good. He's also the tuner. You go ahead and take a summon into like, uh, if you have like a Dragon Rule on the field or Odd Eyes, you can go into like, uh, you can go into Star Eater, so that's a play you can do. But really, uh, it was kind of just a synergy with Luna. Uh, I'm not sure what the ratio was, and I was still trying to figure it out. I was running a uh, solar recharge, but then, you know, I really felt like I didn't have enough light swords to really pull off the solar recharge, so I kind of just dropped it. But, uh, you know, if you want to run the light swords engine, you want to put more light swords in there, be sure to put your solar recharge in, because, you know, solar recharge is just so good. Night swords, of course. So, uh, you know, I decided to go to three riding. I probably should have dropped it down to two and ran something else, and I'm probably missing here, but, you know, I just, like, screw it, you know, so, right in, and then, of course, Luna. This Luna discard doesn't matter. So I'm riding back. Go ahead and make a Black Rose off the field. Or make a, like a uh, Michael. Or make a Yazi. Or make a. I don't know why I put this in here. I just wanted to kind of talk about this card because this deck can do it. So why not? But uh, yeah. Just being able to do that with this card just for it's the more light targets. Totally in my mind. Then the card that I definitely fell in love with uh, this guy right here, Dragard. He's just awesome. I love the synergy with Dragard and uh, Labradite. Just being able to go ahead and uh, and um, uh, Monster Reborn this guy, summon him back, and then just go just a one card Leo. Like I love that play. I, I definitely want to keep this play on the channel. So I'll see what I can do when it comes to that. Maybe it'll be in a different deck or something like that. But I definitely love this with the Labradite. I love that. You know that play is just straight awesome. So maybe we'll see some more of that.
Um, they have to test the monsters, lots of monsters, 31 monsters, the majority of that monsters, monster, monster, monsters, like I said, it's kind of a chaos dragon -y, it's kind of light sword -y, so lots of, like, lots of monsters, so of course, pendulums, lots, lots of monsters, it's different. Alright, random one charge, because, you know, getting, searching is fine, I definitely want to get you to my hand, you know, you're a really great card, Lumina, so I want to get you, soul charge, because it's that one, it's broken, like, I get, uh, you know, uh, I did not, I didn't run Dark Hall, or at least I took it out or something, but he could be in here, I mean, Dark Hall is fine. Did I say Dark Hall is a key? I guess I did, oops. <laughs> but yeah, it, so, uh, yeah, but Regeki, yes, and, uh, Dragon Shine is really great, um, being able to go ahead and send the Labradite, then send the Wyvern, and then, <laughs> and then after that, just start sending the Dragon Rulers, getting every, all the dragons on each of the graveyard, and just doing fine, because, you know, Foolish at one, nah. Yeah, you know, but Shrine at three, you know, and, you know, and with frickin' Dragon uh, Ravine Band, it's just like, alright, alright, see where you're going with that. And then, of course, I'll have crazy because but back row, uh, one of the flaws with this deck is that, of course, I didn't run the MST and the Lancelot, but, and Trap Sounds, and all the extra hate, all I had, my only hate was one of the crazy, so, you know, at those times with uh, Tiago, where I could have got a lot more of, uh, uh, you know, back row hate, of course I'm not running it, so that's kind of hindered the deck, I'd definitely say, and hurt us as tag partners, because, you know, if he didn't get throw out a Kree, my odds of getting throw out a Kree were just the same, and his hate was, of course, a lot more if he had MSTs, I didn't, and yeah, but, oh well. Alright, extra deck, uh, Leo, uh, Leo is just so freaking good, and one card Leo is just awesome, Leo wins games, like, 31 beat that can't be targeted, it's just, like, awesome. Uh, Michael, Michael, he's, okay, he's Michael, I guess, I don't know, I just put two, because I don't know. Really, uh, the extra deck, I really didn't try that hard on. Yazzie, I definitely love Yazzie, Yazzie is probably one of my favorite level 7s, uh, you know, right under, like, Black Rose, just because he's a 26 speeder that can't be targeted by your opponent's card effects, I and mean, that's just freaking awesome, so, definitely, um, if you're going to 7s, I'd say, I'd say Black Rose, then Yazzie, and then whatever else, because, you know, unless, unless you run Light Swords, and of course you gotta run Michael, but, you know, definitely Yazzie's up there, you know, even above Dark Shark Fighter when he gets unbanned, I would still say Yazzie. Um, I ran one Hot Red, I don't think I've ever made him, but, I don't know, I, I have a level 4 tuner, so I can go, like, right in and play Swyvern, I don't know. Like I said, I didn't really try that hard after that, just because it's right in plus Dragon Ruler or, or Hot Eyes, so, yeah. This, cause, I don't know, I literally just put this in, like right before the deck profile, I need one more card, I'm like, eh, I'll put an Ancient Sacred Library in, cause it's that can make it, so it's one Light Tuner and one, or one non tuner Monster, so you're like, Tuner Monster, of course, right in, so you can go ahead and make this, and then, this guy could be super big, and go for a game, or if you're, you know, up, and you, your opponent's life points are lower than yours, this guy only gets stronger, and you can just, yeah, like, okay, attack, it gets stronger. Attack with one monster, he gets stronger. Attack with another monster, he gets stronger. Attack with another monster, he gets stronger. Then he just does the finishing blow. So, uh, is he good? Yeah, he's fine. Not every deck can make him, but you know, he's totally fine when it comes to just going to that get that push for game. Then of course Black Rose, because Black Rose. Alright, and uh, I run the one M seven just because these two kind of felt like maybe I'd be able to pull it off. Because I don't know, so I put that in there. I don't know. I said I really don't know, and. Exiton, because Exiton, because Dr. Castell, Draco Sack, and 101. I mean, not 101. 11. Big guy. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. Different monster that takes, Daniel. Wrong monster that takes. <laughs> uh, big guy. Alright, so, these are the cards I want to talk about if you want to go ahead and change it. So, you can run these two. They're actually really good. They're really strong beaters. And then, of course, when they're sent for the field of graveyard, you get the other one, and then you just banish, and then you summon, and just keep going. So, I uh, definitely say that if you're going to run this deck or a version of this deck, I definitely recommend that you run these guys because they're just really good. And then, of course, since you run um, Odd Eyes, Pendulum Dragon, and this spell captures right here, and also she's a spellcaster, but I'm not sure if you do it. But, you know, these, you yeah, run such a high number, you can go ahead and fuse with Polly into Run Ice Pendulum Dragon, especially with Throw of the Cree, and you're doing by yourself. I mean, that could be game depending on how many attacks you get. So, uh, definitely not terrible play there either. So, uh, I'd say the deck was eh, it was okay. I probably could have made it a lot better. Probably could have made changes to it if it would have stayed, but it's cool. I totally don't mind it leaving. So, like I said, uh, the engine and the idea of it will probably stay, and I'll try to probably work on it something else later. But um, for now, this deck is off, so if you want to go ahead and make the deck and try it out, change it up, uh, go ahead and tell me what you guys did with it. If you guys have any suggestions on the deck, go ahead, sure. go ahead and comment in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and step away from this deck and uh, move on to some other things. 
So, um, yeah, uh, there's another Daily Duels. You'll go ahead and see um, Burning Abyss on Daily Duels now instead of Vitamin Y, where it just really wasn't working. So, you know, that not only opens up a spot for Vitamin Y, in which case, you know, it's not just, hey, look at me play Burning Abyss, but then you can, if you want to see Burning Abyss, you can just watch it on Daily Duels. So, yeah. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Thank you guys for supporting um, Pendulum Cash or anything. Thank you guys for supporting me in general. So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys uh, in the second Daily Duels using uh, Burning Abyss. Thanks for watching.